Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Best Advice Ever channel where no advice is the best advice, but we may get some wisdom. So let's look at my shirt. There we go. It's a emotionally gothic. Um you know, because it's it's a lifestyle bro. It's a it's a thing. So there are quite a few things I want to talk about, but I am going to, again, keep this down to the, the 10 minutes that I usually keep it. The first thing is, um, I'm going to say the election is not what I was hoping for, as we know, at all. You have... A woman of intelligence, a woman who speaks clearly, does not mince words, and shows in her work of everything that she does for this country and for her family. Now, I stand by all politicians, blah, 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 all the things. Um... And I also know that you have to be of a certain caliber to be able to work in the ring of politics, okay? You have to have a certain, um, what do they call it, uh, not character, a certain grit, you know? You gotta have a certain grit. And she has it, absolutely. The president does not have rule and law over everything like a king or a queen, right? Because we don't want that. We don't want one person, one party to have control over everything because then we have Nazi Germany. Then we have Russia. Then we have China, right? Then we have... Japan, you know, the control and rule and order are chaos. That is what America has always tried to say. We're not them. We're breaking away from the king because we're not the king. We're going to be independent. We're going to be for democracy. And yet our own government has worked against the people from day one. Republicans and Democrats had one party and they said, well, we need to control the vote. We can't have all these other people out here because that's a democracy. When you have multiple groups coming in, multiple ideas, right? That is a democracy. That is a democracy. When you have one party that split into two parties for the specific reason of controlling the vote so that no one else would win except for the one party, and each one has their left thing or right. I'm not, we're not going to talk about left and right because that's stupid. That is goddamn stupid. Okay? You have this idea over here and you have this idea over here. And people have come in and tried to have, look, we need a balance of the two. We need a balance of the two. We can't have just one or the other. One drains the coffers, not for the people. They drain it for themselves. And the other one says, we're not going to put any money out at all because we want it for ourselves. They drain it for themselves and they keep it for themselves. Social security, right? Not supposed to go for government officials, for anything, except for taking care of disability and retirees. That's all it's supposed to be for. But instead, the government comes in and they take, 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 take. So we have trillions, billions, we have multiple trillions. I don't even know what comes after trillion, whatever that is. That's what the debt is. And that's what they say, we need to take all the money to pay off all this debt. Well, how are you accruing this debt? How are you accruing this debt? Let's, let's explain this. How many offices do you have that are, are not necessary? 
taxation without representation. How much of that goes on within each state, each county, each city, and the government? Right? How much? A lot. I want you to remember Project 2025. I want you to remember, because I saw all the videos on it. It's not like you didn't have the information to come in and see what you were voting for. It's not like you didn't know what you were voting for. Because if you said you didn't know, you're a liar. Absolute liar. Because how fast that went red, personally, I believe 100% that was rigged. 100% that was. Because I don't think that many people said, hey, let's go treat our women like slaves. Let's go take away workers' rights and treat them like slaves. Yeah, let's bring the jobs back when we can treat our people like people in China. Right? You absolutely voted for that. You voted for the president to come in and have a hitman. With the Clintons, you didn't know it was a hit. They just said it was a suicide. But it's the people who also control the government seat. It ain't the president who, who controls it. Okay? The first time multiple people where I work at had to find a new place to live because people came in, bought out the, the apartments that they were living in or the houses they were living in, and they skyrocketed the rent to double and triple. And th some of those people were already on welfare. Already. Because the place of business cannot sustain what it needs to sustain because the students can't pay what they need to pay. Okay? You voted for that. I didn't vote for it. I actively talked against it. Okay? A convicted felon who has been impeached not once but twice. What's the use of an impeachment if they're not going to be held for their, for their actions? If they're not going to be held to the standard. Because now a convicted felon is in charge of the United States military. Lock, stock, and barrel. Has said he has a hit list. First time he said he can murder people and get away with it. He did. Do you think some freaking crackhead off the street just came up and said, Hey, I'm going to go shoot, go shoot this guy for no reason? No. He got shot in the ear, but they, were, but they shot a service. A man who's in the fire department was murdered so he could have a fucking flesh wound on his goddamn ear. So he could get goddamn sympathy. That's what you voted for. He got away with murder. Assaulting women. Pussy grabbing, right? Let's go grab the vagina. You voted for that once. Now you voted for it twice. Women voted for him to do that. Women voted to have their rights taken away. To be, to be treated as second class citizens. In the 70s. In the 70s. Not very long ago. Women had to have... A card in their husband's name. They couldn't even have a checking account. Without having a man sign for it. Their husband or their father. Or their brother. Oh hey that's what they do over in Saudi Arabia right? Hmm. But the US is different. In Saudi Arabia. They hold the passports of their employees. So they can't go anywhere. What are they going to do with their passport? Hmm. What do you think is going to happen here? You have to have special papers to travel within your own country. Why? You voted for that. Okay? The lid is closed. While the Constitution is still enacted, there is a time to change it, but it won't. So your freedoms, you might, you might want to go watch V for Vendetta so you can see how your life is about to be. Because curfews and all that great stuff, that's coming down for your protection okay all the things you gave up you voted for a lottery because again you think he's going to save you he's going to pardon himself so he doesn't do a day of penance 
for his crimes and he's going to commit more, so many more. His team will make sure that their agenda is fulfilled. Gays, lesbians, all the things? Nope. You might get snatched up. Speak out against them? You might get snatched up or have some lawsuits on you. The excuse of different color genetics? Yeah, they're coming for you too. They'll come for the females first. Anytime. And the women, the women came in and fought for all of that. First and foremost, women fought for you. Fought hard for you. A woman came in, another woman came in, and she fought hard. She fought hard, and all you did was listen to slander. Didn't once listen to her. You got all, your, all of your information from one freaking source. One type of source. That's all you got. That's all you cared about. It was males against females. We're going to dominate the fucking females again, right? Good for you. I said it was going to happen. And it is. It will happen. And it won't be pretty. Your congressman? They're not going to be able to do a damn thing. Because they'll be put in, they'll be jailed for treason. Even though a domestic enemy of the Constitution has now been re-elected. He was a domestic enemy of the Constitution day one in his first campaign. First campaign. Domestic enemy. Number one. Okay. He's still an enemy of the Constitution. Those who are sworn to protect the Constitution, let him walk right in. Because there was a male running against him. Then he didn't get reelected the second time. Because there was a male running. And they slandered Kamala so badly because why? She's female? In Clinton's office, his daughter, his 12-year-old daughter, was ripped to shreds by fucking males. Weak-minded males who can be controlled very easily. And you have weak-minded females who can be controlled very easily. I'm not. I'm not weak-minded. I'm not weak-minded at all. Five million people say, da, 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 and I'm like, nope. Absolutely not. I'll fight against all of you. I do not care. Okay? That's not my ego. That's who I am. I know what's right and I know what's wrong. I listen to my connection to God, spirit, universe, whatever you want to call it. I listen to it. And the day after the election, everything was quiet. Because they knew. They knew. There were people who didn't even know what day the voting was. Okay? That's how much people paid attention. Well, you're about to find out. So, I hope you get whatever it is you want. And if you don't get what you want, well, I don't think you're going to get a next time to change your mind. I think this is too late. The Constitution will be gone. Democ democracy will be shredded. It's too late. This is the end of America. It's too late to fight. I mean, you could fight. Go to Congress, all the stuff. But he got voted the first time. He got voted the second time. Now, unless that motherfucker was rigged, there's a lot of stupid fucking people out there. Now, I do mean stupid. You're not intelligent. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. So you get someone who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing back in there because his team is running this place. 
His team is going to shred everything. Okay. And we're gonna make sure he doesn't die. Because all assassination attempts are planned. None of them are random. They are planned. Every one of them. He wasn't getting an assassination attempt. It was a stage and pony show. He got flesh wounded on his ear. He said, don't fucking shoot me again. Stage it. Find it. Do that. But I'm not getting shot again, is what he said. Okay. I'm grieving and I am in mourning. Because I was in the military. 13 years, one month, and 24 days. I swore twice, enlistment and re-enlistment, to defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Not to defend a people, not to defend a government, not to defend a president, but to defend the Constitution that protects us all when we make sure that people make sure that our government acts on the Constitution. It works when we make it work. It can't work if we don't enforce it. And you have no idea. Some do. In some weird way, you know that this was not the thing to do. My dad's wife said, well, I would have voted for her if she hadn't opened the borders. Let me tell you about the borders. Okay. At the borders, people were being separated from their families. Their children were being bussed off to somewhere else. The women were taken off somewhere else. The men were taken off somewhere else. Sound familiar? But you don't fucking care because it wasn't your family. It will be. It absolutely will be. Can't start over with people who know about democracy. You can't start over when you have people who know about freedom. When they know that they can fight for it. You have to train them. That there is no fighting. That they will be slaves. Of a sort. And they have to be raised that way. So they don't... So they don't rebel. Gotta mess with their mind. Gotta get them while they're young. That's what the military does. They give you something so that you're sick. So they can reprogram your mind. To follow and obey orders. It doesn't always work. Not always. But you go talk to a Marine or you go talk to someone in the Army or someone in the Air Force. They get their mind screw hardcore. Very hardcore. But anyway, this is over. This is 18 minutes. I don't know if anyone's going to listen to this all, but uh, if anyone finds this, you know, I want you to know that uh, people did speak out. People did speak up. Someone, many someones in government and not in government spoke up about this. And they did it anyway. Let history know the first felon was elected president. The first felon of the United States to be pardoned before he's ever done a day in jail. The first felon to be Commander-in-Chief of the United States Military. That's your history. That's your first. <sighs>